SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's begin. It all starts way, 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 way back. Meet Primitive Sponge. SpongeBob's oldest known ancestor. Although quite similar to SpongeBob in appearance, note the sloping forehead, considerable overbite, and fang teeth. Primitive Sponge was not known as the most intelligent creature in the sea, communicating in a series of growls and grunts. <laughs> However, he was noticeably strong with quite a high tolerance for pain. <laughs> okay, uh, please stop doing that. It's clearly very painful. <laughs> this was the beginning of the long line of square pants ancestry. As we travel further up the coral tree of life, many generations have passed and we finally arrive at Spongegar, the next evolution in the square pants lineage. As you can see, Spongegar is already closer in appearance to Spongebob than his primordial predecessor. Spongegar was far more advanced than Primitive Sponge. Evidenced by the development of clothes, the language system, tool usage, curiosity for new discoveries, and the domestication of animals. It's interesting how much bigger prehistoric Gary was compared to modern day Gary, but that's for another episode. It's also important to note that Spongegar, along with his oddly familiar friends Patar and Squag, had a monumental impact on global history and discovered fire. <laughs> Now we travel even further up the tree, many generations later. Much, much later. You get the point. Anyways, we finally get to SpongeBob SquarePants. Howdy do, y'all! Very similar to SpongeBob in appearance, apart from the red bow tie, striped shirt, this little chain thingy, and black bowler hat. Now SpongeBob was something of a Western hero in his time, saving the town of Dead Eye Gulch from Dead Eye Plankton years and years ago. Ow! Huh? <laughs> He's the only known SquarePants descendant to live outside of Bikini Bottom. Meaning somewhere between SpongeGar and SpongeBuck, the SquarePants clan migrated elsewhere. Now fast forward some time and we will reach the patriarch of the modern SquarePants family, Grandpa SquarePants. Aside from his wise sayings such as, If we were meant to fly, we'd have propellers on our heads or jet engines on our backs. Not much is known about Grandpa SquarePants and he has not been seen for some time. We do know that he married a sponge now known as Grandma SquarePants. SpongeBob! Hi, Grandma! A loving motherly figure of Bikini Bottom, known for her kisses, her cookies, and her sweaters, which are made with love in each stitch. It's important to note that SpongeBob also had a maternal grandmother, Grandma Bubble Bottom. Unfortunately, all records have been lost on Grandma Bubble Bottom. The only thing we know is that her child is Margaret Bubble Bottom, but more on that later. Back to Grandpa and Grandma SquarePants. Travel up one generation, and they had children of their own. There's Blue SquarePants, an old retired police captain. You're not cut out for this kind of work, boy. Do you have any idea what people like that do to people like you? You mean they won't give me a push on the swing set? Well, let's just say, I hope you've practiced walking without legs. Or arms. Or a body. Sherm SquarePants, whose claim to fame is shoving watermelons up his nose. And SpongeBob's father, Harold SquarePants, a simple man who likes to take care of his son. He married Margaret Squarepants, made a name Bubble Bottom, after the previously mentioned Grandma Bubble Bottom. SpongeBob, hi, honey, we're here! Come on, SpongeBob, hurry, hurry, son, your mother has dinner waiting. And that brings us to the sponge that everyone knows and loves, SpongeBob Squarepants. But it turns out SpongeBob is not the only Squarepants' age. No, he has plenty of cousins. There's Stanley S. Squarepants, son of Sherm Squarepants. Thankfully, the watermelon-shoving thing was not hereditary, although Stanley comes with his own set of peculiarities. One being that he destroys almost everything he touches. Glad to meet you, partner. Nice to meet you. Look, <laughs> Lemon. SquarePants, parents unknown, who is very similar to SpongeBob in appearance with a slightly quirkier style. And then there's Blackjack SquarePants, parents also unknown, but a cousin nonetheless. Did you come here to quiver like a jellyfish, or did you come to wrestle? <laughs> and as we stop for a second and look back at the crazy set of events that came together in just the right way to give us this absorbent and yellow and porous best friend we all have, we realize that back is not the only direction we can look. That's right. Thanks to our special time machine, we can go into the future and take a glimpse at future generations of the SquarePants lineage. If we take our time machine, oh, let's say 75 years later, we come to realize that SpongeBob will have a grandson, simply known as SpongeBob's grandson. Shh! I just beat my high score! Oh, yeah! Big kids today. Oh, man, look at those eyebrows and that ear hair. Whoa, that is gross. 